The Great Famine began in North Korea again because of the pandemic. Kim Jong-un locked down the border and made North Koreans to suffer even more than before. These street children right now looking for food, looking for anything to eat. And the girl is putting something in their mouth. I'm not even sure what she is eating. These women, all they are thinking is about next meal. They are not even sure they are going to be able to feed for next day. That's every North Korean what they are thinking every single day to survive and to find food. Those firewoods are very important essentials for North Koreans because there is no gas or electricity for them to stay warm and cook food. Th those burning firewood is the only way for them to stay warm. This child cannot even go to school because he needs to guard that a uh, device that gets them some electricity through the natural way. And that is all he's gonna do all day long sitting there guarding that. Ah, oh, the child, the children of North Korea do not play with the Legos or those toys. They are just wrapping up some, some papers and that's how they are playing with each other. And they will never even imagine the world that we are living in right now with filled with toys and all sorts of things for children to enjoy with. I wonder what the mom is thinking, looking at children to playing with each other. Oh, this child looks like just following mommy around everywhere. Even it's getting warmer in America right now. The spring doesn't even show it's gonna come to North Korea. It's still very, very cold. I guess love for their child is the same anywhere in this universe. Even in that hard, difficult life, mom is making sure that her son looks good. Even though North Korean regime promised it is its a citizens of paradise, however, people are relying on markets to survive and to find the basic essentials. North Korean roads are not paved. 99% of them are not paved. Uh, this house was bought, built more than 50 years ago out of a lot of different like woods and things. Uh, pieces of things and women are very good at building houses and doing all those manual works in North Korea. They seem like can't even afford the windows. They are using some plastics to cover the wind. And North Korea wind is very strong. They are just hoping the plants and the spring comes back because that's when the plants grow in nature and mountains. Then they can subsidize their food at least from some plants and tree barks. And that's all North Korea is waiting is spring to come back. They don't have running water, so I think she's digging the hole uh, in, in front of her in front of the yard. And that is a very common method for North Koreans to looking for wa water. They dig and dig and dig, how many meters, who knows. But sometimes they find the water and they use a pump to make the drinking water for their houses and for towns. Those are little pigs, uh, even though people hoping to keep them, but the regime demands for people to submit pork. And the excuse is the the soldiers need to be fed and they demand people to raise pigs and give it to the regime and the party members. This daily life of North Koreans. Uh, in these markets, a lot of officials taking confiscate things from just average people and steal things from them. And it's a real struggle for women to even engage in this very basic trading and market. 
North Korean trains going 30 kilometers, and it takes sometimes even two months to go from one place to the other place. And their North Korean lives days are just filled with work and work. It just never ends. And North Korean think that's the normal way to live life. I wonder what she would have achieved if she was living in a country like where I am right now, where they are filled with opportunity for women. Even in this freezing winter, women have to wash the diapers of their children. And in this minus 30 Celsius degree, women are going to somewhere to find food. Thank you for watching everyone.